What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is main deck Monday, and we are playing Zashin Zamazenta a deck. I don't think we've covered uh, in the new era now. Before going into the rotation, ADP Zashin Zamazenta was everywhere. It was like one of the best decks. If yeah, it was one of the best decks. It definitely kind of fell off towards the end, but uh, this deck is still proving that hey, it's good to swing two thirty like ASAP, right? And that's the point of the deck. Uh, so this is actually Luke Tran's uh, Luke Tran list. Uh, he actually won the Atlas uh, number 24 uh, with this. Let's see if we can uh, figure this out real quick. Uh, this was on Thursday, October 28th. Uh, so very recently, right? Very, very recent. And his matches were actually pretty interesting. He beat Blissey, beat Urshifu Teleon, a loss to Urshifu Beat Zashi and beat Dragapult, beat Urshifu, tied to Sylveon, I imagine, just to go in the gut. I think Sylveon's probably still an okay matchup. Uh, beat, Itali beat Urshifu, beat Leafeon, beat Dragapult, beat Dragapult. So, what this deck is really good for is, like, you go turn, like, two Bravely 230 with a Trepid Sword and all that kind of stuff. You're playing four Ball Sorters, you're going to bring a Pokemon with the bench to the active, right? Uh, so, you take a quick knock on, on a V if need be, right? Because you want to go first, uh, knock out a V, turn two. Right, start putting that quick pressure on, make it where your opponent has to evolve into VMAX, and then you have good old Zamazenta V, which says prevent all damage done to this tax by Pokemon VMAX. And uh, you cl clean up games with that because now the VMAX can't hurt you. That's a pretty cool concept, right? Now you might be thinking, okay, Italian, well, you play four Crystal Caves, do you heal 30 damage for each of your metal Pokemon and Dragon Pokemon, of course, so you can heal your ping damage from the Italians. You have two Order Guru to re rage the top card of your deck. Now, this is good because you do play like the four Rotom cards. Look at top five cards of your deck. Choose one of them and shove all cards back to your deck. Then put one card to choose on top of your deck. So basically, you can manipulate it and stuff like that. Uh, but what we're trying to do with the Order Guru and the Rotom Phone is making it where Intrepid Sword can basically hit a Metal Energy turn one. So that's what we're going to do on turn one. You know, Intrepid Sword, find the Metal Energy, get three energy only Intrepid Sword very quickly and start swinging, right? Uh, you're playing four metal uh, metal saucer to get energy from your dis disc pile to one of your bench metal Pokemon. Power becomes almost enters very quick. Like I said, uh, well, quick ball, discard metal energy to find your Pokemon. Rotophone to put a card on top of your uh, deck, right? So you look at top five, choose one of them, and put a couple other cards back to the deck to put that card you choose on top of your deck. Basically, you arrange top five cards, but you put one on top, put the other one shuffle, and then you go for the intrepid sword. Very cool concept. For switch because you do you know can attack again next time with the brave blade. Oh, also with the Zamazenta, assault tackle discards a special energy to the active, which could be very useful. I uh, play tool fuel blur, which is good. It gets a tool jammer decks. Uh, Crystal cave to heal your metal Pokemon. Four boss order to bring a Pokemon to bench the active. Three Marnie to disrupt and draw cards. Four research because we want to go fast. We want to like go super fast. Uh, Raihan is pretty neat because you can attach your metal energy from just to one of your Pokemon if Pokemon's knocked out. Then you search deck for any card. Very strong card, especially in this deck, because uh, you're playing the Metal Saucers. One Air Balloon, most likely to go to Oran Guru to get that free retreat. Four Cape of Toughness, so you get 50 more HP. So now your Zashin have 270, and your Zamazita has 280. Wow. And 12 Metal G. It's a very, like, 4-4-4 deck, and I like it a lot because it's, like, super consistent. The only, like, really not four of is, like, Marnie and Air Balloon, but everything else is, like, pretty, like, okay, we're just playing four of all these cards. So, uh, yeah, congratulations, Luke. Winning it, I think this is a real good spot in the meta right now, just because of all the. Oh, we're not playing. <laughs> we're not playing. Yeah, we're not playing that today. If you miss Fan Friday, go check it out. Uh, I think I have a Zashi and a Zashi and a Zamazenta. Yeah, this is a probably somewhat similar, but this is the one we want to play. This is Luke's list. All right, let's see what happens. I, I'm expecting good things. I'm expecting good things. Uh, yeah, we'll see. So we're playing against. Goonchan? I guess that's how you say that name. I'm not sure. Heads like always. Got to hit the hello. One, the coin flip. Yes. You want to go first with this deck. Like I said, you'll get that turn to knock out on a V Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Hit me with the hello. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you, bud. And, uh, yeah. We'll see what happens here. I'm expecting good things, though. I'm expecting it. I mean, I'm expecting a, a quick main deck Monday. But it's quick because it's nice, right? We're still the power of it. Uh, yeah. So, let's see. Going to wait for opponent to set up. And, uh, yeah, guys, thank you for all the support for the past like, couple weeks, too. We've been, like, growing and growing, which is good. Good, good, good. Good things are happening. All right, so we're going to mulligan. Get a new hand here. And, wow. Wow, this is, like, a super unfortunate start, right? Like, yes, it does happen, but 
eight outs. Even starting like Zombies that will be better than Orn Guru. I guess we can prime it with some, so that's good. We could prime it that was the metal energy. And that'd be pretty nice. That's what I would do. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this. Okay. That's unfortunate. I know I need to, I need to fix the text glitch. I know um I think somebody told me how to fix it and I just still haven't fixed it yet. I apologize. <laughs> I gotta fix it though, because that text glitch is somewhat annoying. So, unfortunately, I found a metal energy. We, I think. <sighs> hmm. So a dark deck. Okay. Is this um Moltres? Okay. Is this wheezing? Weezing can be really interesting because we do play the uh, Crystal Cave. Keep calling. All right. So we're going to find some Rapid Strike Sobbles most likely. We'll see if there's anything else in the deck that's Rapid Strike that's not a Sobble. I'd be very surprised if they do play any. Sobble, Sobble, and Urshifu. All right. So here we go, guys. So we'll go Metal. Go ahead and hit that Marnie. Destroy my opponent. Yep. That's fine. We'll get a, another Zacian. We'll Prime Wisdom this. And we'll just go the Intrepid Sword. Guaranteed the Metal Energy. All right. So to our opponent's turn. So I want to put double Zashi into Zamazenta, but then, like, this is kind of scary. It does hurt itself, right? It does do 30, but even then, uh, 130 plus 130, 30 plus 130 is 160, not for knockout. Hmm. There's a Drizil. Okay. Go to the active. Now they can retreat, do this, energy switch, stuff like that. Alright, there's a Rapid Strike energy, there's a Drizil. Let's see what they find here. <clears throat> All right, shady dealings. They probably play the stadium for a free treat, right? The love ball can find another one if they want to. All right, level ball for another Drizil. Okay. Just trying to get those in, those pings happening, right? Is that what they want to do? Start getting those uh, those pinging action happening. There's another Drizil. This could find a support card if they don't have one. Shading dealings. I need to find a way to retreat though. That's the only problem right now. <clears throat> I'm hoping since we Marnie and then we're going to Marnie again. Well, we're going to Quick Ball, which is going to mess up the Marnie. Mm. So another level ball. Then we go for a third Jazeel. And just get like Threaten 3 and Teleon's next turn. I think that's what we're seeing happening. Right? I, I think we're going to see a third Jazeel come down. Threatening a 3 and Teleon's next turn. We shall see. They are taking a minute in their uh in their decisions, so we'll see. Maybe they're unsure of what to do here. So this is a ball. I imagine this will grab a third Drazil. Right? Yep. So they Drazil for Drazil for Drazil into I guess it's a supporter card. I imagine what we'll see here. Maybe Evolution Incense. They already have a supporter card to get the Rapid Striker screw. They want to go that way. We'll see. Now, the cool thing about this is we can't two-shot this. So that's nice. And they're two-shotting us. So there is the Drizio come down. Okay. Take number three. All right. So they're going to grab a research here. Now, let's see what they... They get a first new hand of seven, which is very good. 
Okay, so there is. I don't like that play. I think I'd rather retreat first and then discard the dark energy. Um. Okay. 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 <clears throat> so there's the Vmax. Okay. Did they find a way to energy switch? Are they gonna go for Gelthrust here? I'm actually okay if they go for Gelthrust here. It saves like one more one more switch effect. Oh, this is not a rapid strike Pokemon, Josh. Good play then. I had it backwards. The Sobbles are a rapid strike. While the Jizios are not. Okay. This goes down to five. We'll send up this on our turn. Um, we'll go ahead and put a cape here. We'll do this for this, for this. Find ourselves. I'm going to go ahead and grab a Zamazenta here. And go Marnie. Barely got it. Barely got it. And we have the double switch for next turn. We'll go ahead and Brave Blade for 220. Now they're not they're not throwing a knockout next turn, it's like impossible. So I wonder where the pain damage from Italian goes. 24 to 60. Uh actually if they No. There's no way. We have 270. <laughs> No, nah. Okay, so they can't take a knock on this turn, so that's good. Incense, okay. We have the double switch and research, which is nice. So we'll see the Teleon come down. We'll start seeing the pinging happening. Evolution incense for another Teleon. So they're gonna have two Ateleons for sure this turn, which is great for them. Start doing the ping damage. Probably the ping here, which is fine with me. Uh, because if we find the stadium, we can heal, and that is good news for us. Um we we want that. We want them to start pinging this, right? I don't want them to ping all here. I want to turn, try to turn this to a three shot. And it's just Marnie. Okay. The Marnie is like upsetting because we have a double switch in hand. Um, we could balloon this. So we'll see what happens. So this is going to have a dark energy. Yep. There we go. Unfortunate. We had double switch and research in hand. That was a pretty good hand. Uh, but let's see if we can find balloon to switch. We haven't played a single switch yet. There's switch. No balloon just yet. Unfortunate. Uh, but we can retreat the two. Switch. Um, Metal Saucer. We can retreat. Switch. Metal Saucer. Take a knockout this turn. So yeah. Quick shooting this. That's great. That's what we want to see. I'm fine with this. I want them to quick, start quick shooting this. Cool. That's great. That was what I wanted them to do. Okay. So we'll retreat to here. Oh, that was bad, Josh. You could have you could have retreated here, switch, took a knockout with this. Oh man, yeah. Mm, terrible. Well, that was bad. We have right on for next turn. I don't know if that does anything for us. Hmm. Maybe. We'll find out. I did not find the stadium like I wanted to, so that's unfortunate. Uh, metal energy. Metal energy. Metal energy. Okay. So we have three of our 12 prized. All right, so we can, we have Raihan, Metal, Top Deck, Saucer. We can go for the switch, take a knockout with this on this. Right? We have Air Balloon, that's probably the better card. Yeah, I like that play instead. So there's that. They have the Tatch's turn to actually do anything with this. So there's the Drazeal. <clears throat> okay, there's a Raihan. So we attach energy here, find another card. But they're not Marnie in this turn, so that's good. So we're going to have Raihan, Metal Energy, Metal Saucer, or Garus. Find us 
air balloon for this. Yeah, taking a knockout with this last turn. Uh, well, maybe not because then. Okay, so there you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we're good. What was I wonder why they scooped. Hmm. Not sure. Uh, but that's a, that's a pretty good matchup because they're like two to three shotting you, and you're two shotting their V maxes. So like, I feel like the airship V max is a pretty okay matchup, right? So I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I I think I'm right though. Um, because they're like two shotting you, and you're. You're two shotting them too, right? So it's a very good matchup, I think. We'll see. Gotta hit the hello. <laughs> we even drew like slow and we still beat them. So that's really good to show, right? That was a pretty good game. <clears throat> okay. Oh man, we still like. Did terrible. I can at least like Rotophone to Orin Gru to like maybe hit like a Zacian combo wombo thing. Right. <clears throat> Pokegear Metal Saucer, so is this also a Zacian deck? Might be. Okay. Pokemon. Yep. Oh, with the quickness too. Oh yeah, we're good. We're golden now. Metal Energy, and Trapid Sword. Okay. I mean, we could hypothetically maybe get the turn one here. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this to grab the balloon. Let's go balloon, Rotom phone again. Um, I think I have the quick ball here is fine. I don't know if I want to discard this just yet. Mm. And we're going to re uh, shovel the top five. And I'm just going to Trepid Sword. Okay. All right, so we got a potential. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't find any metal saucers. Mm. They do take a knockout. We do have Raihan, which is pretty nice. So we can go that way. Quick ball, discard their metal energy. So they need to find a way to power this up, and they take a knockout on Zashi V. So we'll see what happens here. Metal energy, cape of toughness. So if they take a knockout here, we can leave Soul Scrapper. They're playing Sycamore, most likely. Okay. And you know, they are playing Sycamore because, um, because they discarded the tool, like, that was a, like, a weird tool scrapper play, for, for real, for real. All right, so to keep a toughness, and just a trepid sword. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Huh. Oh yeah, send them up. What a great top deck. Do this. We'll do this. We'll prime it with the Rayhan, so we have for next turn. Go ahead and play the Scrapper. Play research. Switch to here. Let's put the right hand on top just in case they Marnie us. And there we go. So we took the first knockout there, and I don't know if they play a second tool scrapper. And if they didn't, then we look really, really good, right? So that was a pretty good game right there.
Uh, they only played one scrapper. They do play two, two scrappers. So they could take a knockout. Uh, but then next turn, I would have Raihan, Attach Energy, Metal Saucer, and then maybe found a way. Who knows? Um, maybe it's at the Scrapper's Prize, but that was pretty good, right? That was a pretty good game. All right, out of game number three. So we beat the Mirror. We beat a VMAX deck. Hit him with a hello. Click heads. Lost the coin flip. Probably going second, I think, in the standard. There's no reason. It's funny because it's expanded. You want to go. I've said this before. In and and expanded, you want to go second. But it's didn't to go first, which is very weird. We're in a pretty cool format right now. At least I think that's correct. It could be wrong. But I feel like the majority of the decks, that's how it plays out. So uh, we'll just hold this. No need to drop a second one. Okay, Leafeon. Okay. I think it's another, like, Zamazenta just wins you the game, right? Uh, because, like, Leaf Blade does 90. So there's a capture nation. So probably Sylveon. Okay. No, it's Leafeon. I mean, it's, this was straight Leafeon. Uh, so they had to play... They got to play... What is it? He's not going to do enough damage next turn, right? I don't think so. We'll do this. We'll do this. We will primalism this. That's not a card you want to see. Intrepid Sword. I'm trying to think if they have knockout here. They might. I forget what Leafeon does, if I'm being honest. It's been a minute since I played against it. But like I guess I don't know how they deal with this unless they play Ranger. We'll see. Is it Ranger or Standard? It has to be, right? It's Ranger and Standard. I can't remember if I'm correct or wrong. I can't remember anymore. Okay. So we see the Drizzle, which can get the VMAX. Uh, I think if he has Galarmine, he has Knockout. Like, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's been a mess since I played this deck, against this deck, so... Okay, there's the instance for the VMAX. We'll find out together, guys. If I'm right or wrong. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a knockout. If he, if he has Gallimine. Right, yeah, so 6, 12, 18. So he's at 180 right now. Okay. We're going to Raihan... This. We might Rotom Phone first to see what we can get. But I don't think there's a... I mean, top deck plus Rotom Phone maybe hypothetically can find a way to say, take, a, take a knockout. But I don't think... Uh, I don't... I mean, we have to hit, like, Switch, Metal Saucer, and then the Rotom Phone will have to give us the other piece of it. So it's, it's possible. It's possible to take a knockout. That's if he has the Galar Mine, though. Okay. So he's got a... a Capture energy for another Sobble. Okay. Research is dumping the hand. Did he find the Galar Mine? That's what we want to know, guys. Oh, and we're resistant, too. Busted. Let's go. What's up, everybody? Uh, let's Rotom Phone. We'll put the Metal Energy on top. Well, Marty. Let's go Metal Energy. I want to hold the, do we put the cave or not? I don't think we do. I think we hold the cave. I want to win the Cave War, I think. I think that's what I want to do. I want to win the Cave War, 100%. Now, my hand is, like, pretty lackluster next turn. But, I mean, this can knock, knock out this. Um, unless he plays Pokemon Sentinel Lady, which I know these decks do play Pokemon Sentinel Lady. And he's at 140, which we don't take a knockout, unfortunately. So. 
Drazeal. Okay, so this probably will find the Galar Mine. That's what I think it's going to find. <laughs> okay. Maybe we see him start pinging. Which is fine, because we have Galar Mine. Let's see. I imagine this finds the Rapid Strike one, not the Shady Dealings one. I could be wrong. They still need to find a stadium to take a knockout this turn. That's for sure. Because if not, I could just retreat and maybe find a switch. No, I, we have to find a lot to take a knockout or to, 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 to do it. But we'll see here. He is taking a second. They are also down three research. So they're on to start Marty in here soon, which is good for us. All right, so we see the shady dealing what's coming. I got to find true trainer cards. Interesting. All right, so this could find Gallimard and Pokemon Center Lady. That might be the best two cards to grab right here. Uh, but you would also, Gallimard, yeah, Gallimard PCL is probably the best two combo cards. Unless I'm out not thinking correctly, but I think that's the best two cards to grab here. We'll find out. Yeah, I think that's probably the best two. Okay. So you can find a Sobble here. Cards a switch, and he's got Love Ball in hand, too. Okay. Crobat for four. All right. Maybe he grabbed a Quick Ball, and I thought it was Love Ball, but I thought he grabbed the Love Ball. Maybe the Love Ball's for next turn? Hmm. Okay, Quick Ball, Leafeon for Leafeon. Pretty much saying that these two Leafeons are going to go the distance here. Yep. All right, so taking the knockout. Yeah, so they have to ping next turn and take a knockout. Interesting. We could cape too. Hmm. First things first, we do this. We will Primalism and Middle Energy. That's not good. <clears throat> All right, so we have a pretty good hand next turn. So this is Gallimine. He needs the Drizzile. But then we go Metal Saucer, Metal Energy, Crystal Research. And we also can quick ball just like thin the deck and like do that too. So he has enough for knockout now. Love ball for another Drizzle. Aqua Ball does do 120, which is pretty good. <clears throat> and Waterfall does do 70. So we'll see here. Shady dealings, okay. So they have enough for knockout. That is their second Galar Mine. What was that card? Evolution Intense? Okay. Pound Pavic into Research. Maybe Boss Order. Oh, Boss and Research. Okay. Hmm. I think we prize one Zacian. Hmm. Okay, grass not for knockout. So 
we're gonna knock him out next turn. He goes down to two. Send Born and Guru. Cool. All right, so we take a knockout here. Go down to three. One, two, three. Okay, play two of those. Hmm, Corbett comes up, okay. Do they have an energy? So they attach a grass at Leafeon. Interesting. Okay, ping the active. Which we can just hypothetically heal that damage off. Evolution Incense. Going to find another Teleon. Okay. We got some pinging going on here. 150. So go find a grass energy. Maybe touch here? Oh, we're touching there. Okay. We'll heal. We'll go this, this. I am going to primarily use a switch. And we'll go Marnie. We've got a Crystal Cave for next turn if we need to. Hmm. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. <clears throat> See what they have here. How many switch cards have they played? Just one. Probably played four, right? And then the Gallimine, which now they have a heavier tree cost. There is a VMAX. So do they have a way to hit us? That's my question. Okay, hey, got some pinging going on again. But we know we for sure are tapping a top decking a metal saucer, which is good. Even if they Marnie or not Marnie, we have a metal saucer next turn. They're down three yellow mines. Scoop up net. The oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay. Cause if we knock out this next turn, knock out this, we win. Hmm. We'll see here. All right, cool. We're in a really good spot now. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do this. We'll cave. We'll Rotom Phone. For the Saucer. We'll Primalism this. Six, twelve, eighteen, twenty-four, twenty-one. Hmm. I guess in hindsight, it doesn't matter, right? I think this keeping this active is probably better. We'll see. We we'll go down to one.
Because they need more they need more cards to knock out this than this. Because essentially we have like 280 HP. Or 290. Alright, so isn't that this one, which is good for us. This is a Drizzle. Wow! Alright, there's a the fourth Galar mine. Right? Yeah. Cool. Do the ping. They must have some way to do damage to us. It's not Ranger. What is it? What is it? In, it's, is, this, is it Ranger in standard? I can't remember. My brain's not good anymore. Another Drizzle. Okay. I mean, did they have it? Well, they only do 210 right now. They need Tool Jammer and Switch. Tool Jammer, Switch, and a way to... Yeah, there's... I mean, they could do it with three cards. I, what is a card that... <laughs> what can I remember? It? Is it Ranger? No, Ranger is... I can't remember, guys. Hmm. Can't remember anymore. We played too much to expand it. I can't remember the standard cards anymore. Uh, oh, well, this is boss order. Okay. Bring the boss order this up. We do get two cards. We just need a boss order here. And we can switch to this one. A fresh one. Or if they boss the Orangaroo, we might just keep the Orangaroo active. Hmm. I either can swing and hope they don't have a game next turn. Or I can retreat to this and pass. I don't know which one's the better play. Probably was the wrong play because they can involve the bubble date both these next turn. Hmm. Yeah, probably should have swung. Oh, I don't know. Okay, switch to Leafy on. Then Leafy on swings for a knockout. We know they have boss order in hand. So I set up this one. We know the card top deck is not a boss order. So I have to send this up. I have to assault tackle here. Four ball sorters. Can't find one. I'm probably gonna find his last Galar mine. Because he top decked that 100%. So Shady Dealings, this might be game. Probably game. He's gotta have some way to take a knockout this turn. Uh, Phoebe, that's what it was. Okay. 
That's what it is. Phoebe. We're all good in the end. All right. So it's Phoebe. That one of Phoebe is going to win the game. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Um, we could have found the other boss. We could have found the other boss. We would have won. So. Oh, maybe I played that wrong. Maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. i still thinking not swinging was the correct play. I couldn't remember that one card for a turn. Ah, oh, yeah. I still think that's an okay matchup. I just got, like, super unlucky. Because uh, I wanted to just, like, ripped like those galar mines like nothing right that's pretty cool uh but yeah hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching hit that subscribe button see you tomorrow for road tuesday still test out zashi's zamazenta it's quick it's powerful and it has like outs like every v max deck because you play zamazenta Alrighty, guys hit that subscribe button see you tomorrow Alrighty, bye